What's up guys, I am Kenny from Upscale Lures, and if you're into fishing, design, or 3D printing, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every single Wednesday, and this week I'm going to be showing you how to show off your special fish catches in a very unique way. Let's get started. begin with showing you the simple process of taking a fish pick and turning it into a 3D printed masterpiece. First you're going to want to go to 3dp.rocks, there you go, click on that, then you go to tools, right there, you're going to want to go to lithophane converter, and then click on image, and then pick what image you would like to convert, there you go, it's converting right there, then you go to settings, you're going to want to go to model settings. This is where you can control how big or small you want it. I put it at 127 millimeters, which comes out to 5 inches. I will add a 4 millimeter border. Uh, you don't have to, but it does seem to add a nice touch. Next, you're going to want to go to image settings. And then take the negative image and slide that right over to the positive image. Just like that. Then you're going to want to go back to model refresh it and just like that you are ready to get this thing put into your slicer you're going to want to download it and it opens right up to up studio as for printer settings i did start with 0.15 layer height and then i did try 0.2 and that was uh, definitely a better option for infill i did go with a hundred percent uh, that's what you're going to want to go with for these uh the fish picks and with the Cetus, I did do the fine setting and that I think because you are going with a larger layer height, the fine setting does work a bit better. Um, as for this one, this is the first one I tried at a 0.15 layer height and it came out to a 5 hour print. So that's what led me to trying a uh, 0.2 layer height and the quality you couldn't even tell the difference just a tiny bit there's a little bit of a difference so um you know saving an hour and a half on your print time i think was definitely worth it you guys can check out the difference of the prints here and see if you can tell the difference because i could i could barely do it so the 0.2 layer height is definitely the way to go here we go with the snook pitcher this was the first time i visited florida and I didn't even know what the fish was at the time. Uh, I was calling them Chinook, I believe. So yeah, that was a three and a half hour print for that one. Then we switch over to the rainbow trout print. This one was a little bit bigger and it came out to a five hour print still with a 0.2 layer height. But I think it turned out pretty slick. Then the last one, um, this was with uh, me and my buddy on the Mississippi River. We were slaying some big old perch and some northern and some sauger. Uh, this one came out to just under three and a half hours. After you get your 3D prints printed, you're going to need a light source to bring these things to life. A windowsill uh, with the natural lighting from the sun uh, does work fantastic, as you guys can see here. Of course, this will only work during the daylight. Otherwise, you can use a lamp. I'm using a... Uh, spotlight right here. It's got to be a LED uh, with a like a white light, which looks uh, real clean. I like the uh, look of that. Otherwise, if you use a warm light, I think that gives it more of a little bit of a yellowish color and more of a antique look. So if you are guys are looking to 3D print some fish picks, I will leave the links below. If you guys have any questions about 3D printing this up, make sure to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back with you guys. I think this could make for a awesome gift idea for that special fisher person in your life, uh, whether it be a pitcher from a special fishing trip or some giant uh, fish they have caught. I would have to guess that would definitely be something they would enjoy. If you guys haven't already signed up for my first Fishing Friday newsletter, make sure to check out the link below. We put out a new email every single month. Uh, we'll give you updates about my company, Upscale Lures, and you'll be the first ones to know when we release a new 3D printed fishing design. It also includes fishing news from around the world. Like I was saying, the link is below. It'll take you like two seconds to sign up. 
and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.